Uh, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, this is a very dusty job. I always say watch out for any dust uh, on, the, on our allotment uh, and this is one of them. Uh, any dust uh, can be uh, harm to you and silica dusts are even worse. So we always need to protect ourselves so I'm practicing what I preach by uh, putting my mask on today because this is very dry cocoa koi. Uh, this cocoa koi will eventually be for my carrots and parsnips next year and I need roughly uh, 300 litres to fill all the holes so that we can uh, get those nice carrots and parsnips that the, uh, the rats uh, love to eat. Well, they like me carrots anyway, but it won't be long before they find out about me parsnip. And we don't want them nibbling on the old parsnip, do we? Because uh, we need that for Christmas Day. Um, I said in one of my previous videos that I was just taking a, a, a break from uh, YouTube. Got lots of things going on. So, just need to uh, just take a step back. I've been producing videos since I think it was 2014 or 2015. Done a video every week and then every two, <laughs> two every week started uploading them at 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday and a Wednesday and my regular 403 and a half video uh, viewers uh, always watch on the evening so thank you for that uh, I get roughly a thousand views a day and I'm almost now on 2 million views so it's about 1.94 million views so it won't be long before it edges up into the 2 million and I'd also like to thank everyone that uh, watches my videos from start to finish. Uh, it, I do really appreciate that, it just helps me out um, on my growing spaces and to pay for equipment, etc. So uh, many thanks for that. So we just need to uh, get the last of this bagged up. This is the first bag. I'm creating dust, so I should have my mask on really. Um, so I've got some potato reveals to do I'm not going to just do them all in one lump so during December I'll be dropping up dropping the occasional video in uh, Christmas Day we'll have the Christmas potato reveal at 8 o'clock and then uh, on Christmas Day afternoon at 3 p.m. Uh, it'll be the King's speech and we'll uh, do an alternative uh, Christmas me message to the, uh, the gardening community so I'll just finish uh, this off, off camera, get the old mask on. Don't want you listening to my muffled voice. So that's uh, that done. Um, I prefer to do the sieve in here. It's a nice height. I haven't got to bend over too much, keep the whole back straight. Uh, you do get a little bit of wibble wobble on the uh, belly and the uh, moobs, but uh, that doesn't matter. But it's just a matter of keeping ourselves uh, comfortable, health and safety. Um, this bed was the Pongos. I put some manure in and then realised and forgot that I'd got to uh, sieve this compost. So I've got the 300 litres now, we can look at that uh, shortly. I've got some soil that we sieved. I want to just add that into the cocoa koi. Gives it some body. Keep buying compost all the while. It doesn't do uh, do anything uh, any good. Soon dries out. I haven't got much of this left. I've got some more to sieve in the polytunnel when I get a chance. I'm just going to fetch some 
the compost we find. Now this uh, cocoa koi is obviously the con uh, cannabis compost we find. It come dry, that's why I've kept it dry to do this little job. I did forget to mention earlier that uh, I've got over a thousand videos on the channel now, so that's why I uh, obviously people searching. searching for information so uh, we get that this uh, compost that we find now with the perlite in I'm finding it uh, a really good addition to the uh, growing spaces I found this really useful guys, it's just a floating trowel, plaster a floating trowel, I've had wooden ones, I've made my own but this was in a skip, a little bit of concrete on it, it didn't take me too long to uh, get it uh, cleaned up, a little bit of effort, costs nothing, gardening on a budget at its best, yes we have to buy things I know. Normally I'd cover this with cardboard now, but because that cocoa core is quite dry and we're forecast a little bit of rain and snow over the rest of the week, including some high winds. We just need to make sure everything's safe on our allotment. So I'll just give you a quick show round now before we go. And uh, don't forget, the uh, if you're entered into the um, uh, LED lights, the flutter raffle draw, that will be up after this video on Sunday and by the time you've watched this uh, the competition will be uh, the raffle will be uh, closed so you can look forward to that I'm not sure whether when this video will go up because it normally takes about 12 hours to upload a video like I do I don't edit I don't put any fancy stuff on uh, so it just takes its time uploading and hopefully it comes out really reasonably good quality as you can see there the masks covered and so is my uh, sweatshirt mrs king will be happy so there's the uh, the sieved now that goes into the holes lovely i don't add any nutrients to it carrots parsnips don't need the nutrients they just need somewhere for the tap root to go so that's why we always put the manure in the bottom or create a hole and pour the liquid manure that we get right to the bottom and then that's where the tap roots go and you don't end up uh, with them forking hopefully uh, i haven't looked under this bed but this is one i did previously and uh, not uh, much activity but the cardboard helps to keep it uh, reasonably dry i can get the wood book back on there now and there's the uh, the cannabis roots they take uh, an earth to uh, compost down but uh, they'll go in the compost bin and they'll be added to the beds uh, as and when so out of all the compost we got on that dryer load, there's just four left. And if I uh, wish, it'll go on the asparagus with some leaf mould and some three-year-old uh, wood chips. And I finally got round to getting the sprouts uh, all sorted. I accidentally snapped the top off that one, but hopefully that means the sprouts won't blow now. If they've got no more energy coming from the top, they shouldn't grow anymore that was just an accident some of the sprouts aren't very good but the crispus f1 are this ones and then these are some that are uh, well, about seven year old seed and you can see these uh, these are starting to uh, to blow now so realistically all we do snap the top off uh, that is edible as long as it's uh, not full of white fly poop, etc. But this bed's had um, some manure in the bottom and I've just topped it up with some more of that uh, cocoa koi that uh, we had spare. This bed's also had manure, so the uh, claret sprouting broccoli will also enjoy that and we'll hopefully get a crop February, March and April. Uh, the apria and walking onions are doing fine and i did notice the elephant garlic excuse me uh, one of them's popping up now oh no there's two so there's all the worms etc so i'll get that uncovered now 
so that they uh, they can continue growing. So if I do <coughs> upload any videos, it'll be at 8 p.m. Uh, on a Sunday or a Wednesday or whenever I get chance. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to a little bit of break away from uh, replying to comments because the amount of comments, I'm, comments I must have replied to is unbelievable but I do reply to every comment. Uh, you're important to me, the viewer, and the information I can share and you can share is so important to me, you and everybody else that reads the comments. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time my friends, ta for now.